Eric Darling here with Darling Data, and I, I remember to turn my microphone on, so we're off to a great start here. Uh, in today's video, we're going to talk about a very weird problem that uh, I've seen crop up on client servers a number of times now and lead to all sorts of weird transient issues. Um, CPU spikes, plan cache stuff, just weird memory things, stack dumps. Uh, you name it, I've seen this thing be the root cause of all sorts of weird problems. And of course, that weird thing is sec the security cache. Uh, it sounds like this, like, you know, nebulous little little doohickey that, you know, uh, is supposed to make life easier, uh, you know, by caching securities information about logins and whatnot. But uh, if it grows, grows unchecked, uh, it can cause some real big problems. Before we get into all that, of course, we need to talk a little bit about you and me uh, and, and, and things, that, things that I like about you. Uh, I like when people sign up for memberships and contribute just a little bit to uh, making sure that this channel stays uh, free and open source for everyone to use. Uh, it, 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 it's like four bucks a month if, if on, on the, at the low end. Uh, if you don't have four bucks a month, I totally understand. Um, you know, there are things that I'd probably rather spend four bucks a month on, too. Um, but if you, if you, if you don't want to do that, uh, liking, subscribing, commenting, all that good stuff is just another way to make my little heart go all a flutter. Shut up, Intel drivers. Uh, if you are in need of SQL Server Consulting, that's my job, <laughs> apparently. Uh, I do all this stuff and more, and my rates are reasonable. So you can, you can hire me to, to do what I'm going to show you today for you. It, it's fun. It's, it's really great, fulfilling, uh, really just, you know, life-affirming work. Um, <clears throat> if you need training in, in the SQL Server performance tuning space, you can get about 24 hours of it for about 150 US dollars when you use the discount code spring cleaning. Uh, if you look in the, 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 the show, dis the, <laughs> the video description, I, I, I hesitate to call this a show. Um, if you look in the video description, there's a link with spring cleaning baked right into it, and you can you can you can use that. It's, it's amazing technology, uh, the the advanced URL technology here at Darling Data. Uh, if you want to see me live and in person, and who wouldn't? I'm even better in person because you can throw things at me, <laughs> and and I don't know, get, get give real likes and comments. You can comment in real life in real time. I think that's called a conversation. Weird. Uh, I'll be in Dallas uh, Friday, September the 6th, doing a full day training session. And November 4th and 5th, I will be at Past Data Summit in Seattle with Kendra Little doing two days of SQL Server performance precons. So you should come see us at, at those, and you should come see me in Dallas if, if you happen to be in the neighborhood. So now, let's get on and talk a little bit about... <clears throat> how we can troubleshoot security caches. Now, uh, my, my good and dear friend, Josh Darnell, um, who, is, who is an application developer, uh, was able to figure out this, this part of the demo. I don't take a lot of credit here, aside from doing some nice formatting on it, even though there are a couple of things that could use some work, apparently. You know, it's hard to, hard to find good help these days. Uh, and what the, the whole point of this thing is to inflate our security cache. So uh, that's what I've done. I have inflated the security cache uh, by using uh, set app roll over and over and over and over again in a loop. Uh, I actually had this loop run. I actually, the, the first run of it got me to about like a gig. So I ran this a few times to get it up a little bit higher uh, just because it made things a little bit more interesting for me, not because it's, you know, really all that fun or interesting or cool for you. Uh, but that, that's what I did. So um, <clears throat> what we've got here are a couple queries that will help you look at security cache stuff. If you look at this one, you will see that things were cr cruising along, going just fine for a while. And then at some point, the security cache grew. Uh, so that's about 2.3 gigs plus about another gig from the ACR cache store. So that'll be about 3.2 gigs total uh, from, uh, from there. This is a tough query to remember. It's not very portable. 
it's not very interesting. Uh, I mean, it's kind of interesting. Uh, it actually, you know, if you, if you look at it, uh, and you actually click on the XML column, uh, you can get a lot more information out. Uh, I don't like parsing this stuff out in the actual XM, in, from the XML uh, to show in the tabular result because it makes a lot of like duplicate lines that are just kind of messy. I generally just zoom into where like things grew uh, or when things grew, or like if they, you know, spike up from what, like a lower number to a higher number, or a high number to another higher number. Uh, and then I sort of just dig around in here because you can see all sorts of interesting stuff about, you know, entries getting put in and but not removed and the size of things. And uh, it's, it is, you know, mildly interesting if you have the, the, this particular fetish. If you want an easy way, <clears throat> excuse me, an easy way of, uh, of, of figuring out if your system cache, if your token and perm user store is growing a lot, you can use my free store procedure SP pressure detector. Uh, I've get it set up here to only look at memory and to skip some other stuff that's not really pertin pertinent to us. But if you run that right at the very top, you will have uh, this section here and you will see user store token perm is about 3.2 gigs total, which I believe is about what we talked about it being from the the, the the XML. When we did the XML query, it was like, you know, 2.3 plus 0.9 something gigs. So that's the size of the token perm store there. Now, you can clear this out manually by running this, for DBCC free system cache token and perm user store. Um, so, but the thing is, if this is a, something that happens regularly because of your application either using set app role or like doing impersonation stuff, like I think execute as is another thing that can really pump this up, uh, switching users back and forth and queries for different reasons. Um, I've seen a bunch of applications that, you know, log in as one user, switch to another user to do something, switch to another user to do a different thing. Like they have different permissions and schemas and stuff. Uh, all those things that will inflate the the security caches so you can totally run this to to, to clear that out um, if this is a big long-term problem for you there are a couple of trace flags that can help the thing is they don't help if you just do this these have to be startup trace flags for them to really make a difference uh, so if you want to look into what 4610 and 4618 do if you're having this problem go crazy they're pretty useful if you're having the issue but only as startup trace flags they don't fix a problem if you just enable them globally if this is a problem that you're having a lot and the trace flags don't help and your security cache is still growing, over in my GitHub repo, which I'll have a link to in the, the video description, I've got a few scripts in there that can help. Uh, one of them is a store procedure that will run, look at the size of your security cache, and if it and there's a parameter that you pass in to say how big of a security cache you care about. Uh, if it grows beyond a certain size, it'll run that DBCC free system cache call and clear it out for you. I've also got an agent job to set that up to run. Uh, the schedule, I think, is baked in for like every hour or something. If that's not often enough, you can, of course, adjust the schedule. But all of this stuff, you can just hit F5 on. And, of course, if you want to um, inflate your security cache for some reason, uh, or you just want the, the standalone analysis scripts here, you can use that. Also in my GitHub repo is SP Pressure Detector, right down here, which you can also get totally for free. You, you don't have to like or subscribe or comment on that, uh, but you can get that and also view the biggest memory consumers on your server. And if that user store token perm stuff is up there, you might want to think about, you know, running the DBCC, DBCC command to clear it out, maybe enabling the trace flags and maybe using this code to set up a job to clear it out on a regular basis because you might be having all sorts of weird performance issues uh, and um, reliability issues because this thing grows out of control. Um, as for like how big it, it has to be before I worry about it, um, you know, generally, once it gets past the two gig mark is when I see things, I see signs of trouble. If it gets up past like four, eight, 16, 20 gigs, somewhere in there, then you're just about guaranteed to have some issues. So I usually, I'm usually pretty aggressive on this, and I usually set that to be about around like one, one to two gigs uh, to clear out uh, for the uh, store procedure there, because any, like really anything beyond that, you're just kind of asking for trouble in the long term. So uh, 
I hope that this, this is not a problem that you have. I hope that you don't have applications that, that blow out your server's security cache because memory is precious, right? And if you have, you know, 8, 16, 24 gigs of, of security cache, that's, that's memory that your server can't use for other stuff like caching data pages or query memory grants or having a plan cache or other things like that. So it's, it's a bad problem to have. Uh, if you are having that problem, You've got some trace flags that you can you can look into. You've got some scripts that you can run to clear it out. Um, if you you know, I honestly like you know I, I say try the trace flags, but a lot of people can't just restart SQL Server with new startup trace flags in place. It might be safer for you to just use the scripts there. <coughs> Excuse me. So look at your SQL Server with SP Pressure Detector. If you see high user store token perm. Or anything like over like the two gig or so mark, you might want to think about you know clearing that out. See if the problem comes back. If it keeps coming back, I've got you on the scheduled stuff with the store procedure right there. Uh, the store procedure also does some logging, so you can see like you know which runs cleared stuff out, um, how big the security cache was when the when the run cleared. So there's some diagnostic data in there too that's pretty helpful. So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. I hope you learned something. Uh, I hope that. Uh, every all, all your dreams come true. Uh, I hope that you just get everything you want from life. It's, it's a short endeavor, and, and feeling like you are, are missing out on stuff is never a good feeling. So I hope I hope you've got no FOMO. I hope hope that you get everything that your heart desires, including this video coming to an end. <laughs> That's what I desire right now. Because I feel like I'm sticking the landing a little bit here. Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, thank you for watching. I'm going to upload this and figure out what to do with my life next. All right, cool. Thank you.